Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to mirror your phone to your desktop computer. Now, you may be wondering, why would you want to mirror your phone to your desktop computer? Well, if you record videos for YouTube, and if somebody comes out with a new phone or a new app for a phone, or if you want to show how to change settings in a phone, it would be nice to be able to record your phone off the computer screen rather than trying to point a camera at your phone while your fingers fumble over the phone. This is what my phone looks like when it's mirrored to the screen, and you can see it's got all the things that I have on my phone. I can go down to the different pages. I can run any of the apps that I have on my phone, like this one called Around Me, and it shows everything that's around me, and I can choose if I'm looking for a gas station, I can click that and it shows me a gas station. So everything I can do on my phone, including changing the settings and looking at the battery, uh, even simulating phone calls, I can do with this mirroring setup. Mirroring your phone is pretty easy to do. You can do it. It only takes about a minute to set up. You can do it with free software. Let me show you the steps. In this example, we're going to use a Samsung phone, but most phone manufacturers offer similar software. In this case, if you have a Samsung phone, you'll want to go to samsung.com slash us slash sidesync and download the sidesync program to your computer. It's a free program. It's very easy to download. Just click the either download for PC or download for Mac. And once you download it, you'll want to install it. And then you'll want to go to Google Play and download the SideSync app onto your phone. Again, this is a free app. All you have to do is click the Install button and it'll install it for you. Once you have those two, you'll want to start SideSync on your phone and then SideSync on your computer. When you start SideSync on your computer, you'll see a screen that looks like this. And it's pretty easy to run. It says Open SideSync, Turn on Wi-Fi, Select a device to connect to. You can also connect from a USB cable, but I choose to connect via Wi-Fi. So I'm going to open side sync, and it tells you how to do it. I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi, which is already turned on on my computer, and then select a device to connect to. And to select a device to connect to, you do have to turn your phone on. And on your phone, start side sync. And once it's connected, you'll see a screen that looks like this. The first thing you'll probably want to do is click Phone Screen. And it brings up your phone screen. As I showed before, you can do everything that you can do on your phone on your screen now. So you can run your camera if you like. You can run any of the apps that you like. You can use your browser if you like. You can move around and show people how to use your phone. So let's click one of my apps called Raindar. And what Raindar does is it shows the probability of rain within the next 30 minutes of any particular area. And you can see that it works. And if I want to go back, I can click that button. If I want to go to my home screen, I can click that button. But the advantage of being able to mirror your phone to your computer is that you can run a program like Camtasia or any other screen recording program and record all the activity of your phone on your screen. Then you can use that to post a video to YouTube. Now, in addition to being able to, to mirror your screen, using a program like SideSync, you can open all the folders on your phone and either upload or download files. You can download or upload music, and you can do other things as well. It also has a more option where you can go in and enable keyboard and mouse sharing. You can enable a mobile hotspot. You can change the settings, and there's some information about it. Again, this is a free program. It's called SideSync, and it works on all Samsung phones. Now, if you have a different brand of phone, you'll probably find similar mirroring software for your phone. Again, if you're creating YouTube videos, it may be a good idea to watch to see what the hot apps are for your phone model and use this screen mirroring technique to create videos showing you how to use those apps. Thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.